using EasyScreen to perform hearing screening. Press the Home button to turn on the device. Other Home button functions. Returns to Home screen from any screen. Turns device off. Screener Login is an optional feature on the device. You can enable or disable it using the HearSim PC application, which is provided with most systems. After boot up, if Screener Login is enabled, you will see a list of screener names that have been transferred to the device. Select the screener name. Use the on screen keyboard to enter the screener password. Select the OK function button. The home screen then appears. From the home screen, you can perform these functions. Enter a new patient. Select a patient already in the device. Start a quick test by passing patient info entry. Access device settings. Change screener. To enter a new patient, select the New Patient button. The Enter Detailed screen will appear. At a minimum, a patient ID must be entered. Touch the field to fill it in. Use the keyboard to enter the ID. When the entry is complete, select the OK function key. Continue selecting and completing the patient information fields. When finished, select the test function key to proceed to the next step. The device auto detects the connected cables. Depending on the device licenses and cables, you may see this test selection screen. Select the desired test type. If test fields are enabled on the device, fill in the fields. Select the test function key to save the entries and proceed. The test screen shows the transducer type and provides instructions. For ABR, electrode positions are illustrated on the baby's head. Select the test ear button if you need to change the ear. By now you have fully prepared the baby for testing and confirmed that the baby is ready. Select the test function key to start the impedance test. Circle color on the baby head indicates whether the skin contact is acceptable. Green means acceptable. Orange means unacceptable. Fix any orange electrodes. When all three sides are green for a few seconds, the ABR measurement starts automatically. The bar graph displays progress toward pass. The noise bar shows interference from electrical or muscle artifact. The time bar shows elapsed time. The screener can pause, continue or stop the test as needed using the function keys. The test ends automatically when a pass is achieved. Or after 180 seconds, the test ends in a refer. Select Test Ear button to change to the other ear. Select Test to proceed. When testing is complete, you can immediately print the results on the label printer. Select the list function key to view a list of the tests you just performed. Note that the last right and left ear tests are pre-selected for printing. Deselect tests and select others you wish to print by selecting the printer icon. To print, be sure the label printer is turned on and is in range. Select the print function key to initiate the label printing of the selected tests. If you want to perform an OAE test, select the desired tester. In this case, select TEOAE. By now you have fully prepared the baby for TEOAE testing and confirmed that the baby is ready. Select the test function key to start the probe check. View feedback about the quality of the probe fit. Look for three check marks. If seal or stimulus are poor, refit the probe. If noise is poor, find quieter conditions or refit the probe. The measurement proceeds when all parameters are acceptable. The bar graph displays progress toward pass at each frequency band. The probe bar shows stability. The noise bar shows acoustic noise interference. The time bar shows elapsed time. The test ends automatically when a pass is achieved. Or, after 60 seconds, the test ends in a refer. 
to select a patient already in the device for review of tests or for performing a screening, select the Select Patient button. A list of all patients in the device appears. Sort the list by Most Current Test Date or alphabetically. Please note that patients without a test are always at the top of the list. Search for patient by ID, last or first name by selecting the search function key. Type in characters from the patient's ID, last name or first name. Select the search function key. The result of the search will appear. Various patients may be present if they match the entry you made. Select the desired patient. If the list is shorter, use the paging keys to find a patient. Use the up and down arrow function keys to page through the list. A small square at the right side of the patient row provides information about the number of the tests saved on the device for the patient. An unfilled square means that no tests are present. A black square inside means that tests are saved. An X indicates that the maximum number of tests are saved. When you have located the patient name, select the row to review the information. Patient information cannot be edited once saved. Perform tests for this patient by selecting the test function key. Or review saved tests by selecting the list function key. The list shows all tests saved in the device for this patient. You can select tests for printing by touching the printer icon so that a check mark appears. Then select the print function key. Or you can select a test to view more information by touching the test row. The details of the selected test displays for review. Select the test fields function key to review this information. The test fields you entered before the test will display. The fields cannot be edited after they are saved with the test. To perform a test without entering patient information, select Quick Test. Either the Select Test screen or the first test screen will appear. Proceed as described before. Only one Quick Test patient is saved temporarily in the device. It is deleted the next time you choose the Quick Test button on the home screen. But you can save a quick test if you do it before selecting quick test again. To save it, choose Select Patient in the home screen. Select the quick test patient name in the list. Select the patient ID field. Enter the ID. Select the OK function key to save it. Select the last name field, which has the entry of quick test. Delete the entire quick test entry using the delete key. Enter the patient's last name into the field using the keyboard. Select the OK function key. Enter and save information into the other fields as desired. To make changes to some of the settings on the device, select the Settings function button on the home screen. Select the setup category you want to change. Settings that can be changed on the device are the language, the power save and power off times, the playing of sounds for keyboard clicks and warnings, the volume and the pairing of the wireless printer. The About screen displays information about the software versions, transducer calibration, battery status and licenses. Pairing the wireless printer. Be sure the printer is turned on and in range. Select the search function key to scan for MLP2 printers. Wait while the printer is detected. Detected printers are displayed in a list. There could be more than one. Select the printer you want to use. Paired printer is now displayed.